allergies, welcome if you're new, I'm Alicia. Today I've got some simple and tasty recipes to share with you, homemade granolas. Whether granola is a part of your healthy breakfast or you just love having a crunchy snack around, these healthy granola recipes are so tasty and so easy to make. I've got three different granola recipes for different tastes and lifestyles, a traditional sweet granola, a savory granola, and even a low carb granola. First, I'm sharing a traditional homemade granola where you're in control of that added sugar. I combine rolled oats, pecans, almonds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, golden raisins, cranberries, maple syrup or honey, coconut oil, vanilla extract, cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. Mix it up and then transfer to a pan lined with parchment. Bake in the oven. You can stir it halfway through, but if you like larger pieces in your granola, just let it be. Allow to cool completely before breaking it up and enjoying. I love serving this one with yogurt that's slightly sweetened with maple syrup and cinnamon. It's also great as a snack as is. If you want more info on this cool storing hack with a mason jar and applesauce container, check out my crazy yogurts episode. I'll link it below. This granola is crunchy, sweet, and so satisfying as a breakfast or snack. This is just one of the healthy breakfast recipes in my new vegetarian meal prep ebook, which is full of meal prepable recipes for lunch, dinner, and snacks too. For all of these recipes, you can really use any nuts and seeds you prefer. They all have different health benefits and will keep your granola interesting. So feel free to get creative and switch up the ingredients in your own homemade granola. If you're finding these tips and recipes useful, why don't you subscribe and hit the bell? That way you'll never miss a new episode. Next up, I've got a savory granola and it's oil free. I whisk together yellow mustard, apple cider vinegar, tahini, maple syrup, sriracha, garlic powder, onion powder, fresh thyme, dried oregano, cinnamon, and salt and pep. Then I add in the dry ingredients, oats, cooked quinoa, chopped almonds, chopped cashews, sesame seeds, and pumpkin seeds. Toss to coat and transfer to a pan lined with parchment. Bake in the oven, and I do recommend stirring this one to keep it from burning. Again, cool completely before breaking it up. This one is great as a snack, but it's also fun to make a savory parfait with Greek yogurt. You can't beat salty sweet snacks. Can I get a thumbs up? The last one I've got for you is actually a low carb granola, which is pretty cool. If you're curious about how a low carb lifestyle works, I do have a Keto 101 video that breaks down the basics of low carb and ketogenic diets. I mix together walnuts, pecans, macadamia nuts, sliced almonds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, coconut shreds, ground flax, unsweetened cranberries, erythritol or a sweetener of your choice, fiber syrup, which is optional, but I like it for the caramelization, coconut oil, cinnamon, and salt. Transfer to a pan lined with parchment and bake. Break it up once it's cooled and enjoy. So delicious. If you're on a low carb lifestyle and missing cereal, breaking this granola up and enjoying with some almond milk could do the trick. This recipe is from my new low carb meal prep ebook where you can find 35 meal prepable recipes that are all low carb. You can find both my low carb and vegetarian meal prep recipe ebooks at mindovermunch.com slash ebooks. And you can save 10% on any ebook or package of your choice when you use the code kickstart at checkout. I hope you enjoyed these homemade granola recipes. What ingredients would you use to make your dream granola? How are you doing with your new year's resolutions? Leave a comment below and let me know. If you're looking for some extra motivation and accountability to keep you on track with those resolutions, check out my 30 day kickstart course. When you sign up, you'll be enrolled for 30 days of emails filled with valuable information about food, nutrition, exercise, motivation, and healthy cooking, along with daily and weekly challenges to keep you moving forward. Whenever you sign up is when your daily emails will begin. So you can start on your schedule based on what's convenient for you. You can find the course in the same place as my eBooks at mindovermunch.com slash eBooks. And remember, I am giving away three Nutribullets this month to people who are subscribed to my newsletter, so subscribe for free at mindovermunch.com. Also, if you want more casual conversations with me, follow my Instagram account because I am getting on the Insta Story train this month and sharing daily tips as well as doing some chit chatting, so I hope you'll join in on the fun. Enjoy the weekend. If you try one of these granola recipes, post it on social and tag me. I will see you here on Monday, and remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.